Greetings fellow Ambazonians. This is the Deputy Defense Chief Capo Daniel of the Ambazonian Governing Council. I've come today to brief you and to give you certain information about the operation that took place yesterday in Bamenda and other announcements from the War Council. Yesterday, our forces interrupted the economic activity of Ezekam in Tarinkun. They came to carry out to pick up debts and they were using Cameroon military for protection. So our forces had to interrupt that operation, that activity with the use of uh, live bullets. And uh, this is not the first time. Last month, Zekam trucks were used by the Cameroon B in uh, Street 5 in Mulang. And we have had similar incidents where Cameroon military have used uh, trucks belonging to Zekam to attack our position and to infiltrate areas that we control in, within the city of Bamenda. We will continue to, to attack Zekam each time they use Cameroon military protection, we will continue to search their vehicles and make sure they are not a cover for Cameroon military operations within Bamenda. Just like the companies of uh, Baba Dampole are part of the multinational companies that have been set up within Ambazonian territory with the sole purpose to exploit our people, they will not allow us to even pick up our own debts. This is unacceptable. We are going to treat them like a multinational economic company who have dues to pay. Ezekam is owing the Ambazonian Governing Council 10 million for last quarter of uh, 2021 for their liberation tax and they must pay that tax before they can continue uh, economic activity in our territory with new negotiation for their tax for this year. This company Ezekam, before they came to Ambazonia, our municipal authorities were in charge of refuge collection and the disposition of sewage. You had in Bamenda, we used to have a uh, Yuriyoki, and uh, we have uh, uh, our council, our city council had equipments that were in charge to dispose of uh, sewage and also to, to help dispose of, uh, of, of trash. We have equipments in Bamenda Council that were donated by foreign partners, the Canadian government, and many government had donated equipment for our city councils to be able to pick up trash in Bamenda, Boya, Kumba, and many of our cities. Ezekam took over the operation from CETA. So Ezekam is a uh, part of the multinational company that was set up in Ambazonia for the sole purpose to exploit our people and take away economic opportunities from our people, just like the companies and, uh, of CDC and many other institutions that were handed to specific people like Baba Dampole to exploit our people. Ezekam is one of such companies. Ezekam bought over CETA and uh, have been exploiting in Cameroon as part of uh, Paul Bia's personal property. This company belongs to his family members. We know those who are behind this company. They have taken over operation from our city council. We used to dispose of trash in Bamenda by our city council. The Bamenda city council have received donations on equipment from the Canadian government and from governments in Europe to enable them to be able to dispose of dirt and sewage in Bamenda. You also have Yuriyoki which is a hygienic company in Bamenda that was in charge of disposing of waste. But these Cameroon companies that were set up to exploit our people have taken up everything. They will not allow us to even pick up our own debt. The city council of Bamenda have the capacity to dispose of debt in Bamenda if they want to. If they don't want, they can give those contracts to the Sansan boys and to hygienic companies like Yuriyoki and many other who have been performing such tasks in Bamenda before the coming of Hezekam. Hezekam, we will treat them like a company who are in for business and for profit making. The, in certain times in Bamenda when they have done cleanup campaigns, Hezekam have refused to pick up trash. The Bamenda City Council have always stepped up to pick up and collect trash in Bamenda during those periods. And if they want to, they will do their duty to go out and pick up trash. Our forces have instructions to allow private companies and Bamenda City Council to use their own trucks to pick up trash in Bamenda. As for Hezekam, they must pay their tax. They must pay the 10 million of last year, last quarter of 2021 tax that they are owing before even start negotiation for this year uh, project in Bamenda. They have a, a social responsibility to the Ambazonian people to pay back money to our, into, into our hands so that we can continue to protect Bamenda and protect our people. It's not acceptable. 
we will continue to interrupt their, their job. Companies who are out for business, they are not there to do charity for Bamenda people or to take care of Bamenda. And uh, the people of Bamenda should put pressure for our city workers to go out there and work. We do not recognize the authority of the, uh, of the colonial mayor and the councillors, but the city workers have the opportunity and the permission to go out there and carry out debt on behalf of our public. I will take this opportunity also to inform our public that we have noticed movements around the office of ELECAM, the Cameroon electoral system that has been imposed on sovereign Ambazonian territory. After silencing, criminalizing, and banning Ambazonian nationalism and the expression of our nationalism that violates basic and fundamental rights of our people and over 96% of our population, we cannot sit by and allow Cameroon government to, to use a minute number of our people to go and register for elections that are organized by an alien government. We have a duty to protect the integrity of the aspiration of over 90% of our people who want separation and independence and want us to exert our sovereignty of our territory. Anybody who register for elections by this alien government in Ambazonian territory will do so at your own risk. Any ELECAM officer who is sent out or who occupies Cameroon government offices within Ambazonia to conduct electoral businesses will be doing so at their risk. See such foreign operations that seeks to undermine our territorial integrity, all our forces are going to take actions that are in line with our code of conduct against you. Be sure of that. Our population should be mindful of this and should desist from being corrupted into committing treason against their state. So God bless you all and uh, stay focused. We'll continue to inform you as our leadership and our forces on the ground will be charged to liberate our territory from Cameroon occupation and uh, protect our villages from Cameroon arson attack, targeted killing, and pure terrorism as we go through this, uh, this period of our, our journey to free ourselves and decolonize our territory.